Hello everybody, Mr. Westech here. Um, just wanted to make sure you guys are all set for double XP, which is happening this Thursday. Oh, this one's going to be a bit of a doozy. Um, what can I say? Um, there is a lot of buffs. There is a lot involved in this. Um, I'm going to go through every detail. If I forget anything, let me know in the comments. I will pin it, but I'm, sh I'm pretty sure I covered everything. Keep in mind, you don't have to do this all at once. Baby steps and maybe just focus on a couple of these at a time because it is a lot. The key is, is knowing how much XP to get per level 100 Super Mutant. Um, you'll know a round figure. But anyway, first XP buff you want to do is well rested. It's very simple. You just sleep in a bed. Um, you can put one at your camp, obviously, for uh, about 30 seconds, and then that'll come up on the top left there that you are well rested. Boom, you're already getting an extra 5% XP. Amazing. Now, XP that you earn in this game is all based on intelligence. So that's another reason you come up to this mechanical derby game. It was available in the score, um, I think it was last season. Um, yeah, lots of people have them at their camps. That will boost your intelligence by two for a half an hour. So that's another buff you want to do. Now, um, we don't have the food, but you're going to need sugar bombs, sugar, gourd, cranberry. I'm going to get into that in a little bit later in the video. Um, I wanted to show you the like aid buffs here. Like You need to acquire these on your own. I can't tell you how to find them. Leader Bobblehead, Live and Love 3, because we're doing Herbivore, because it is better for XP. This is an XP video. If you prefer Carnivore, that's amazing. Uh, four lunch boxes and a Marsupial Serum if you have Marsupial. If you don't use it, then you don't even need that. So these things, like I said, you're going to have to acquire on yourself. Uh, Reddit is amazing for this. Vendor hopping is, is pretty good for this, but Reddit is probably where you want to find them or make friends with somebody that has a lot of them. I've made a lot of deals to get to these numbers here, and they're not even as good as they could be. Berry Mentats you can make. Um, maybe I'll do a video on how to make them, but they're fairly easy to find at vendors, or you could just look up a video on how to make them. They're not too bad to make. Pretty easy. So, once you've taken all of those buffs, you're definitely off to a start here. So we're going to take the Leader Bobblehead, we're going to take the Live and Love 3, which really plays into the food I'm going to get into later. Uh, the, like I said, the Live and Love 3, uh, basically, I'm going to get into that later. It, uh, and, that, and it involves being a herbivore. It's that Live and Love 3 that is combined with herbivore. I'm just making that clear now, so when I get into it later into the video, just remember that. Live and Love and the herbivore are directly linked. And uh, another way of XP here is you're going to want to make sure you're on a team. Casual, preferably, because every extra teammate you have on the team that is bonded will give you an extra plus intelligence. Remember, it's all about intelligence. So, your stats are getting pretty crazy here. You can see the extra 5% for the leader bobblehead. And yeah. Now we're going to get into the serums that you'll need. You only really need Egghead, Herbivore, and herd mentality, that is it. Like I said, if you have marsupial, or don't have marsupial rather, you do not need to take a serum. You take the marsupial serum if you have marsupial because marsupial takes away from an, one intelligence. So if you take another serum, it'll negate the negative effects, which is that one intelligence for an hour. And yes, we're covering everything here. So the one intelligence matters right now, everybody. Um, so yeah, Marsup or sorry, yeah, herd mentality because of the two plus wall grouped. You're gonna want to be in a group while you're getting XP. If you're if you're trying to get lots of XP and you're not in a group, that that's the number one mistake. Make sure you're in a team. I can't uh, recommend or that enough because being in a team is just so beneficial. But after that, oh, I also wanted to point out where to get the serums. It's in the White Spring Bunker. You basically want to get to the bottom of it. It's in the Science Wing. You may have to look up a video. I didn't want to make a video on it, honestly, of going down there, because I get lost down there. It is 
pretty hard to find it down there, but it's in there. You just might get a little irritated. <laughs> but anyway, we're going to go on a little bit of a quest here. The first place we're going to go to is Gorge Bridge. Now, once you get here, there will be a locked door. If you do not have the key, I think it's at Camden Park, it's called. It might be the other one with the roller coaster. There's two parks with the roller coaster. Just go into the roller coaster cart on the roller coaster, and the key for this door will be in there. I'm pretty sure it's the one at the bottom left, Camden Park. I could be wrong. Uh, let me know in the comments, but it's one of those parks you can find the key and we're going to be looking for sugar bombs in that first door there I have seen them spawn But this is the more or less the location you're looking for as you can see there's three of them that can spawn here The next location you're going to want to go to is Flatwoods Now we're making this run so we can make the food that are going to buff as well That's going to go along with herbivore. So once you fast or fast travel to fat Oh my god, that 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 Flatwoods you're going to want to come to the top of the church here. If you have a jetpack, you can just hop up here a lot quicker. But uh, as you can see, uh, sugar bombs can spawn, spawn here. I think up to three, if I'm not mistaken, maybe more. Um, also want to point out, while you're looking for these sugar bombs, make sure you get the right ones. These radiate ones will always spawn in the locations I'm showing you. Um, if you get a clean box of sugar bombs that does not say .99 at the top, then it's not going to work to make these. It's not going to work for the brain bombs that we are going to make. So make sure you're getting the radiated uh, sugar bombs, which are a lot more common. Um, so after that, we're going to want to go to uh, Point. This was Point. What was it called? It wasn't Point Pleasant? I think maybe it is Flatwoods. Sorry. No, this is Point Pleasant. Anyway, it shows it on the map there. <laughs> You're going to want to come over here and get Mothman eggs. Now, uh, Green Thumb is a perk card that will allow you to pick up twice as much uh, plants and stuff. This does not fall under that category, unfortunately. So, And I just wanted to say, do not pick more than you need. And I'll get into that in a second. Just want to point out that building on the left right there that I looked at before it went black, up at the top of it, this is where you will find sugar. You're going to want to come here for sugar as well. I'm sorry I didn't get a great clip of showing where this building is, but it was the orange building on the left while I was running up the hill, and then I turned around and looked right at it. Do not forget to look behind the door here. There might be more sugar. Lots of sugar spawns up here. Next location we're going to want to go to. And you should avoid the right there unless you want to fight some anglers or gulpers, um, but you could just run down here and uh, we're going to be looking for the brain fungus and remember to put green thumb on because this is where this is going to start working for you and you'll pick up one rather than two once again do not pick more than you need and you'll get a feel of how much xp you'll need or sorry you'll get a feel for how much brain bombs and cranberry relish you will use in a day or whatever and i say don't get more than you need because your sugar bombs will get used up quicker and these products that we're making right now do go bad as I'm going to show you. You're going to want to put them in a fridge. So next place is the Sundew Grove here, the Veiled Sundew Grove, I think it was called there. Anyway, it could be a little tricky to find in here. There's there's better places to find cranberries, but this is where I come. I don't have to deal with Mirelurk, so that's why I generally come here. But it's a little tricky finding it here, but it's somewhere in the middle. Just keep going through the trenches, and there's a spot where you'll find tons of cranberry. Once again, Green Thumb will help you here. There's also a safe in here and a red chest and some floaters, which uh, I'd rather deal with than the Mirelurks. That's why I come here, and it's it's fairly quick as long as you're not looking around for too long. And that's pretty much it for the run, everybody. Um, you're just going to want to head home after this, uh, provided that you are growing gourd at your house. Now, you can find gourd, it's pretty easy to find. Look up a video if you need to and plant it at your house if you're gonna be ranking up, trust me. Um, and then, you, of course, you're gonna need some dirty water. There's a trick where you can hold the triangle button and then spam the square button and you'll get lots of dirty water rather than sitting there doing it one at a time. So hold the triangle and then just spam, let, let go of it and then spam square, you'll get tons of water. And uh, don't forget to throw on Super Duper as well when you're cooking if you want more. Sometimes I don't even throw it on because you don't need... I make like three at a time of each of these. <sighs> and don't forget to boil water like I'm doing here or you won't be able to make the relish. So basically we got everything there. Mothman eggs, sugar bombs, brain fungus so we can make the brain bombs. And then cranberry relish. We just needed sugar, cranberries, gourd, wood, and boiled water. So we are able to make those. I'm going to show you what these are going to do to your XP. Remember, 
This is mostly about intelligence gains. Intelligence is XP in this game. Once you're done making these, put them in a freezer because they do go bad. The freezer makes them last 75% longer, I think. I could be wrong. But uh, it makes one heck of a difference, trust me. Cheers to anyone having a coffee. So, once you take your cranberry relish, relish and brain bombs, you're pretty much ready to go. Now, as you can see, I'm getting 9 plus intelligence and 30 plus, or sorry, 30 percent extra bonus XP that might be a little hard for you to see I do wait here for a second it does take away the restore part which is kind of irrelevant for what we're talking about right here but yeah as you can see there it went to 9 intelligence and 30 percent now this is also because I have live and love it won't be as high of a difference if you can't find the live and love magazines but this will make a difference you want to be on a team for this, everybody, and you want to be using Strange in Numbers. This is a perk card you're going to want. It adds 25% more benefits to your food, which I'm going to show you right here. Now, I wasn't on a team. Remember, it was 9 Intelligence and 30% extra XP. Now, I joined a casual team. You can join any team to buff this, but you should be joining a casual team for XP. And now you can see it's up to 11. 2.5 intelligence and 37% extra XP. Now that, like I said, that is a little higher because the Live and Love magazine, but even if you don't have Live and Love, that will make a difference. So make sure you are on a team with people that are mutated. I have to point that out too. If you're with a low level, they might not be mutated. Check those percentages and make sure they're adding up. You want to make sure they're mutated too, like it says on the bottom right there. Some other perks that you're going to want to have on is Inspirational. It gives you 15% uh, extra XP, I think, um, for joining a team. Another reason that you want to be on a team, very important for XP buffs, is uh, being on a team. Uh, intelligence, you're going to want it at 15. And that's the base stat. You're also going to want the Legendary Perk card on because they do stack. That legendary perk card can give you up to plus five more intelligence. So yes, you're going to want that on too, even if you're maxed at 15. Yes, you want it on, it stacks. So 15 intelligence, legendary perk intelligence, and, you know, once again, strange in numbers, inspirational. Um, curator, I think I'm going to point out here, it makes your bobbleheads last a little bit longer. Um, an extra hour if I'm not mistaken so if you don't have a lot of bobbleheads you might want to use that it also works for the magazines if I'm not mistaken yes it does it works for the magazines as well so you might want that on if uh, you don't have a lot of bobbleheads or magazines um, another perk card I'm gonna show here is chem fiend it will make your berry mentats last twice as long as well which it goes from five minutes to ten minutes now unfortunately i noticed that you don't see the purple through the walls after the five minutes but the it, they are still active just so you know also when you get addicted to them the little square in the bottom right of your corner will go orange when you're not on berry mentat so it's a good little way to let you know when you need to pop another berry mentat also i almost forgot one perk card here called night person um, between the hours of 6 p.m. and 6 a.m., you will gain plus three intelligence and plus three perception. The perception doesn't really matter to me, but it's the intelligence that you're after. If you want to check the time, just go to your radio and your Pip-Boy, and it'll be right down there in the middle. Oh, my God. <laughs> so once again, I'm showing you, too, you want your base intelligence at 15 and the legendary perk on. Sounds stupid, but you're going to want it. This is just for XP. Okay, so one more thing to cover here is armor. You're going to want a full set of unyielding armor. Five pieces. Helmet doesn't matter. Chest, legs, and arms. And the unyielding basically ups your intelligence. That's what you're going after here. If you can get unyielding plus intelligence like I have on two pieces, then you're extremely lucky. Like the, It is not easy to get even unyielding. But you want to work on getting that as well. And uh, I'm going to show you what the unyielding does. Now our intelligence is at 58, right? 
and it would be even lower if uh, I didn't have so much rads. But watch what happens when you lower your health. This is what unyielding does. It ups that intelligence. I think we're at 50 or 58 there. Let's see what we're at after this. I think it was 58 if I'm not mistaken. And I go right until nerd rage goes off. And then that'll bring you to 69 intelligence now. <laughs> I'm so childish, but fine. Anyway, the point is, is it ups your intelligence. That's why you want the unyielding and you want five pieces of it. You can find them at vendors. You can roll. I would suggest rolling secret service armor with modules. That's what I did. And try to get that plus intelligence on it as well. And then you're pretty much full here at, at 73. You can get more. But that's pretty much it, everybody. Um, the only thing I don't have is three more pieces of plus intelligence. So I think that would bring you to plus 76 intelligence. Is about the highest you can get, I think. I could be wrong. Um, there's other chems and stuff I'm not 100% sure about. Like XL, I think, does not stack well. Um, even though you think it might help, it might negate the other ones. Just stick to what I've shown you in the video, everybody. Um, so yeah, I'm missing, you know, three pieces of uh, plus intelligence on my unyielding armor. It's not easy to get. And as you can see, I'm getting over 2,000 XP per Super Mutant here at West Tech. And that's what you want to do. You want to come judge your XPs off the Super Mutants at West Tech that are level 100. And that'll give you a good idea where you're at. I know when I'm not getting a certain amount of XP, I'm like, okay, something's off. And like all the time, I'll be like, oh, I was a little bit off on my rads with the unyielding. I could have brought it down more. Oh, I wasn't in a team. Oh, I was in the wrong team. Like you'll start to notice the things. I'd like to point out too that uh, there's a Mothman event. I forget what it's called. It's at the lighthouse. The Path to Enlightenment, I think it's called. Um, it will also give you plus five intelligence. And there's a Mothman event that is seasonal as well that'll give you plus 15 bonus intelligence. But I didn't really want to cover those because you can't really control when you're going to get those. Everything in the video I pretty much controlled. You can, or sorry, you can control other than the XP and stuff. Or sorry, the XP and stuff. The leader bobbleheads in the magazines. You will have to find those. So that's pretty much it, everybody. Um, let me know if I missed anything in the comments. I'll gladly pin your comment, but I'm pretty sure I covered it all here. It's a lot to take in. Do not try this all at once. Like I said, baby steps, or it's just going to overwhelm you. Um, go get what you can and try it out, and you'll be really happy with the experience gains. Trust me. Um... Don't forget double XP is tomorrow, everybody. That's why I wanted to make this video. And uh, thank you, everybody, for watching the videos. I love you guys, man. And, you know, I love hearing, you know, people that I'm helping and stuff. So let me know in the comments. And I uh, look forward to hearing from you. Uh, take care, everybody. Have a fantastic weekend.